From Premier David Eby, a pledge of 2,600 new homes sold at 60 percent of market value. Is a financing tool uh, that protects taxpayers, that minimizes impact on public budgets, and yet at the same time uh, delivers affordable housing now. It will be on what's known as the Heather Lands in Vancouver, just west of Queen Elizabeth Park. It's owned by the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. The Attainable Housing Initiative promises to get more first-time home buyers into the market. So make no mistake about it, this is a massive win, not just for this neighborhood and Vancouver, but for the region and the province. So how will it work? Buyers will initially finance 60% of the market price for a home, with the province kicking in the other 40%. The buyer will repay that 40% if they sell or after 25 years. Buyers will only need to put a 5% down payment on their initial 60%. Studio one, two and three bedroom units will be available for 99 year strata leaseholds on First Nations owned land. The solution to a housing crisis. We are so familiar with that in our communities. The project was proposed by the three First Nations. And the site will also include green spaces and childcare. It is a bit of a niche product, uh, but I think you probably have a fair number of upper middle class households who have a down payment but insufficient income uh, to get into a new apartment, who might find this quite attractive. Buyers will still need to pay back the full 40 percent, even if the housing market takes a downturn. But the B.C. government is banking on the model, and E.B. says it can be scaled up. This can be replicated across British Columbia in markets that honour significantly less uh, affordability challenge. There are other requirements. Owners must use the units as their principal home, must be first-time home buyers, and there's a cap on household income. With a provincial election on our doorstep, it's another attempt by the province to put home ownership within reach for more people. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.